Question 19 and 20 in chapter 2 are asking in a sort of abstract way how doing, using conversion factors to do conversions works. And I think it'll be clearest if we use an example to illustrate what's happening here. So let's say we had 70, whoa, we had 76 hours, 76 hours, and we wanted to know how many days that was. 76 hours. Something important is going to happen in 76 hours from now. Uh, we would be, we, let's say in 76 hours, we'll finally recover from the fun of having studied so much chemistry. It, it'll take that long. Um, and so we want to know how many days that's going to be. Now, for, to do any conversion, you need a conversion factor that relates those two units. So how do hours relate to days? Well, we know that there are 24 hours in one day. And that's all the information you need. But you do know, need to know how to put all this together to do the conversion. And the way you'd put it together is you take the number that they give you. So I'm going to write that here. So 76 hours. Every time you do a conversion, write a multiplication sign and a fraction bar. Now you want the units to change from hours to days. And so we want these hours to somehow cancel out. So we're going to put the units hours on the bottom of the fraction. That's how you know which unit of the conversion factor, hours or days, to put in the denominator, the bottom of the fraction. You put the same unit there that as what you started with. You put the unit that you want to cancel out. So how do you know which unit of the conversion factor to place in the denominator? You place the unit of the conversion factor in the denominator as is the same as the unit you start with. In other words, you put the unit that you want to cancel out in the denominator. OK. Well, that's just the beginning of this conversion. Because it's not enough to cancel out hours, we have to replace it with days. And so you fill in this fraction with your conversion factor. Next to hours goes 24. Going over the fraction bars, like going across the equal sign, so on top, we'll write one day. And notice, how did we know what unit to put on top? The same unit as is on the opposite side of the equal sign in the conversion factor. So how do you know which unit of the conversion factor to place in the numerator? You place the unit in the numerator that is on the opposite side of the equal sign. as the unit in the denominator. It's kind of a lot of words. Uh, in other words, in other words, you put the unit, oops, you put You put the unit um, that you want, that you want to be left with,
that you put the unit that you want in the numerator. But it's going to be the one that's on the opposite side of the equal sign, so uh, as the one in the denominator. So you see how hours is in the denominator. On the opposite side of the equal sign, the unit is days. Notice that is also the unit that you want. So what unit do you put in the denominator? The one that you want to cancel out. It's the one that you start with. That's question 19. What unit do you put in the numerator? The unit that you want to be left with. That's the one on the opposite side of the equal sign in the conversion factor. That's question 20.